Get right up and sing it to the morning sun. I got a road to hold, kind of slows me down. But this girl I know wears a daisy crown. And one of these days I'll topple every wall I come to. Oh, and I'll get right up and sing it to the morning sun. Come the morning sun. My worries will be gone I got a place in town Near the city park Friends come around And my dog don't bark And one of these days I'll weather every storm I sail through Yes, and I'll get right up Sing it to the morning sun Come the morning sun shine my shoes I'm going to comb my hair I might press my suit I'm going to sniff that air and one of these days I'll roll every stone I come to oh and I'll get right up and sing it to the morning sun I'm going to cross that bridge I'm going to break that spell I'm going to scratch that itch I'm going to laugh like hell And one of these days I brighten every night I walk through Oh, and I'll get right up and sing it to the morning sun Come the morning sun Morning sun All my worries will be gone, gone, gone I missed that sound. Yeah, that song doesn't get played much. That was a funny song, too, because I wrote it years ago. Back in back in my early days of songwriting, I, I was hanging out with some really fine uh, new songwriters back in Athens, Georgia, University of Georgia, when I first was playing music, and I always assumed that I should be doing what they're doing. I never realized how wrong that was. I mean, they were writing these heavy, dark, philosophical, um, pseudo-religiosity, um, you know, this magma of depth. And I assumed when I wrote that song right there that, well, that just certainly won't fit, you know. And then one day I was playing and I thought, shoot, man, that is me. What am I talking about? And I pulled the song out and recorded it and I'm happy that I did. Here's one from the new CD. It hasn't happened yet, but will happen soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a, this is a light-hearted look at a rather dark era that we just passed through. And uh, nothing specific, but just uh, I have a feeling that some of us were always looking out 
from our isolated little quarantines that the world going by and the darkness and the rain falling and blah blah and we just hope that that's just about over on a rainy day sitting by my window watching all the gray umbrellas looking for a rainbow I'm killing time leaning on my pillow listening to the rain fall down hoping for a sign hoping for a sign looking for a rainbow all i have are eyes ears and nose and my fingers to let the world into my empty room no one speaks a word and the silence just lingers hangs around lonesome as the moon on a rainy day sitting by my window watching all the gray umbrellas looking for a sign hoping for a sign looking for a Once upon a time, there were dreams and believers. All the world seemed sunny for a while. Now I can't see the light for the clowns and deceivers who darken every dream that passes by on a rainy Sitting by my window, watching all the gray umbrellas, looking for a rainbow. I'm killing time. Sitting by my pillow, listening to the rain fall down, hoping for a sign, hoping for a sign, looking for a rainbow. Looking for a rainbow Someone make the rain go away So sweet oh, Thank you Wonderful Very Best sweet one. When was that um, big uh uh, lunar eclipse was it 2017? I don't remember. August 2017. Well, there's Ray Miller down there from yeah, England. I, I was there at the eclipse. I didn't yes, see it, but I was there. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know what in the world you're doing up at this hour. Well, we're listening to you at the moment. Raised in England. <laughs> oh, wow. Six hours difference from here. So that's, well, Ray, I appreciate well, five your hours, Five hours in Florida. Ray, how does it feel to be a non-European? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Excellent idea. We never were Europeans anyway. Well, in 2017, Judy and I calculated one of my tours so that we would be traveling down I-44 in Missouri just at the time to cross the path of the lunar eclipse. Cool. And I uh, pulled out my guitar and started whanging away on it during the, when the eclipse started. And I uh, started writing this little bluesy kind of thing. And when I finished, when the eclipse was all over and 
the light came back and the birds started singing again and came back out. Um, I had a song, finished it, but it was a little bit too bluesy. And I thought, you know, the eclipse being a majestic universal occurrence deserved a minor chord. You know, mystical chord. You know, you don't want to hear, oh, baby, there's an eclipse going on. Now. I decided I didn't want to do that. So um, I ended up writing this song, and I really like it. And this is another one from the new CD. Dogs commence to howling. Birds are hunkered down. The air is getting chilly, the lights come on in town, and everybody's asking, what on earth is going on? The moon swallowed the sun, there's trouble when the light is gone. Rooster starts to crow. Crickets chirp and rhyme, spring peepers peeping, they've lost all sense of time. The great horn owl is hooting, and the dough beds down with the fawn. The moon swallowed the sun, there's trouble when the light is gone. You don't believe in people and you don't believe in love. You don't believe in science or the telltale sign above. You prayed for something different and it finally came along. And now you're cursing in the dark, wondering where the light has gone. seen the great aurora and the endless milky way i felt the earth tremble and i've seen the buildings sway but nothing can be stranger than the moon crossing over the sun and a world that's growing dark there's trouble when the light is gone And you don't believe in love. You don't believe in science or the telltale sign above. You prayed for something different and he finally came along. And now you're cursing in the dark, wondering where the light is gone. You're cursing in the dark. Wondering where the light has gone. Bravo. Thank you. I like it. Yeah. That's great. How did you do? Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I have a I have a song here that I was gonna play for a Floridian who I haven't seen her name on the screen. Judy is Betty Phelps here. Uh oh, Greg is here. <laughs> <laughs> is Betty Phelps here, Jude? <laughs> Betty, if you are here, let yourself be known. I uh, 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 I guess she's not. So. I will save her song, so in case she shows up, and if she doesn't show up, you don't get to hear it. So. No. I didn't realize I was um, muted. Yes, Betty's here. I've seen her name in the Oh, in Betty the list. is here. Yes, Betty's yes. here. Yes, I don't know. Oh, there you are. I can see your name. Yes. I have a song for you, Betty. Okay, I know what it is. I know what it is, too. 
Betty, you're not in the path of that um, reservoir that's about to burst, are you? No. Good. I know you're down that way. About 10 miles from you. Unfortunately, this song it takes a little tuning, but um, this song is one that I wrote after I finally came to my senses. I'm a military kid, uh, and I spent many of my early years being a really jerky little kid because I would go back to South Carolina, which I only got to visit on occasion, and there are people there who have never really been even much beyond the state of South Carolina. And this was in the 40s and 50s. And they would always look at me with wonder because they say, wow, Jackie's been to Panama. And, and me, I, I was just this snotty little kid, you know. I'd, well, yes, I've been to Panama, I've been to Japan. You know, like as if, as if that made me something different or better. And, and uh, it took many years to get over that kind of a, army brat attitude that you've been places and done things that your fellow uh, colleagues back home have not done and um, it took the passing of my mother and my father's mother both of whom gave me unconditional love one of whom my father's mother and I used to say to her you know I mean I was such a snotty kid even into my 20s I would say mom Belva have you ever seen the Statue of Liberty and she said, no, child, I had never been no further north than Monroe, North Carolina. <laughs> and where they went for supplies back in the, you know, the early 1900s. I said, so you've never seen Everglades or the Olympic National Park or Mount Fujiyama? You never, no, child, I ain't never been no further south than Camden, South Carolina. And so when I finally went to my first voluntary psychotherapy session, <laughs> The, uh, the doctor told me, he said, uh, Jack, whenever you're having these feelings, you need to remember someone who gave you unconditional love. And so this woman, my grandmother, Mama Belva, just came right to mind, and so did my mother. And I, I realized how ashamed I was that I was trying to lord it over them as if they, I had something they didn't want. They're people that I'm looking to for solace and guidance and love and uh and you can't get that from Mount Fujiyama. You can't get that from the Olympic National Forest. And I eventually came back, spent time with my mother in her last days, last year, and uh, ended up writing this song. It's a love song about the Deep South, my homeland that I had so much put down in favor of Mount Fujiyama. This is my body, red southern clay. The river's my blood and my soul's highway. I bow to the weather, misfortune and time. And rejoice in the tangles of wild muscadine. The lakes are my eyes. Awake in the fields My wrinkles are tracks Of old wagon wheels Watching the speed of A pelican sky Clouds and eternity Sailing on high and the oak tree these are my hands my feet are the roots where my heritage stands I call for the seasons and I sing for the storm praising the sunshine keeping me warm my dreams are the echoes 
of grandfather's days Our voices resound like sea island waves And careless as summer I welcome the rain And flow to the ocean through satisfied veins Tales of our children The scuppernong sings and the love of our mothers and swallowtail wings The pain of our fathers lies in the hills Torn from the land to never be still This is my body, red southern clay The river's my blood and my soul's high highway this is my body red southern clay the river's my blood and my soul's high Thank you very much. I'd like to play another song that will be on the new CD. I've already recorded this one. This song was written by a good friend of mine who passed away in Florida last year. Or was it this year? It was last year. As they say, he died with his boots on. David Olney was sitting in a song circle, sitting in a song circle at, up in North Florida at a festival with several other musicians. And in the middle of his song, he stopped playing, spoke to his colleagues and apologized. And then he dropped his head and he died there sitting, holding his guitar in a circle. The circumstances of his passing um, were interesting and wonderful enough to get him some of the press attention that he never got in life. And I'm glad for that. But perhaps when you hear this song, you may realize that it might be a good thing to go check out David Olney music because this is one of the most beautiful love songs I've ever heard in my life. This one's going to be on my new CD. If my eyes were blind, the darkest night could never hold a mystery. If my eyes were blind, I'd hold your features fast within my memory within my mind if my eyes were blind should my voice grow weak only you could hear the voice inside me should my voice grow weak never with the word would I deny thee I would not speak should my voice grow weak. Should my mind grow dim and innocent is on the day God made me. Should my mind grow dim, I'd love you like a child or a baby. I'd be gentle as a lamb. 
should my mind grow dim When my youth is gone, in my eyes you shall remain a beauty. When my youth is gone, in my ears I'll hear you singing sweetly. The sweetest song, when my youth is gone. And when my body dies, darling, I could never leave you lonely My spirit shall arise To comfort and to care for you only To sympathize when my body dies When my youth is gone Should my voice grow weak David only wow. Sound. Wow. Beautiful. Great. Oh, that's David that's only. Yeah. He's, he's worth investigating. Jerusalem tomorrow. So there's some great songs that he's written. Mm -hmm. The Women he's Cross not, the River. Yeah, Women Cross the River. He's had um, he's had some wonderful people record his music. and uh, yeah. It's just worth investigating. Is Wayne Manning here, Judy? Let's do a song for Wayne. Yes, Wayne is here. I saw him sign in. If you, if you will take a good look at the lower left-hand corner of this photograph, you will see our friend Wayne, who is tuned in tonight. <laughs> and the guy in the upper right with a flat top and the horn rim glasses and the zits is uh, me. That was our band in 1960, thereabouts. And uh, Jimmy Payne in the upper left. After this band, he went off and went to Nashville and uh, made a bunch of money on a song that he wrote for Gary Puckett and the Union Gap called Woman, Have You Got Something on Your Mind? Because um, my phone's kids, still talking. Hello. I'm getting all kinds of feedback from uh, someone's open. My phone shouldn't uh, still be talking. Judy, can you find that feedback? It is handed. But um, anyway, the fellow in the middle is a is the drummer. Kenny was a fellow, a uh, high school student. The other three, we were all GIs. They were all GIs. Frank Belaski in the lower right. We've lost track of him. But Wayne is here with us tonight on Zoom somewhere, and uh, he and I reconnected after 42 years and. Regained our friendship, took up where we left off back in 1961. And I got so many stories, I just can't tell them to you. Uh, <laughs> I'd have to kill you. <laughs> but, but here's one. This is a song that I wrote that kind of, a, kind of honors that music that we used to play back then in the late 50s and early 60s. Rock and roll at its earliest and rawest. And uh, I can only think of one other song that... Um, celebrates rock and roll and treats it like a love like a doby gray drift away you know give me the beat boys and free my soul i always thought that was a lovely little song about rock and roll music and so this one is not a lovely little song this is a rock and roll song <laughs> Way back in 59, graduation time. My shoes were superb, my hair was immaculate. I had the perfect date. 
I said, we cannot wait. She said, if you be cool, I might let you be the first to tackle it. And my new chrome pipes and my racing stripes. My 57 Chevy was the creme of the creme de la creme. And in a school that small, no competition at all. And when it came to the hop, without a doubt, you were the queen of the gym. Chain me, chain me to the backbeat. Chain me down and let the good times roll. And every now and then, my feet will fly again. To the beat of that old solid gold rock and roll. We had the beat from the back. There was a grumbling strap. We knew we were part of something too big to deny. And as I stood watching all night long, as you and I danced to every song, and we sang all the words to every star in the sky. Oh, chain me, chain me to the backbeat. Chain me down and let the good times roll. Every now and then, my feet will fly again to the beat of that old solid gold rock and roll. fly again to the beat of that old solid gold rock and roll. Way back in 59, graduation time, my shoes were superb, my hair was immaculate, I had the perfect date. All her teeth were straight. She said, if you be cool, I will let you be the first to tackle it. Chain me, chain me to the back seat. Chain me down, let the good times roll. And every now and then, my feet will fly again to the beat of that old solid gold rock and roll. Yeah, and every now my feet will fly again to the beat of that old solid gold rock and roll. <laughs> Thank you. I'd jump, on, I'd jump up and cut the band off if I had room. <laughs> Okay, we got a lot of Florida folks here, and I, I got a Florida song I'm going to play for you. Haven't played it often in, in a while, and I hope I can do it justice today. Um, now, Judy and I are down here now. She and I both have lived in Florida. I lived in Fort Lauderdale for um, my part of my fourth grade, part of the sixth grade, half of the ninth grade, and all of the eleventh grade. <laughs> and um, I w was never fond of Florida, and uh, I, there are still reasons I'm not, but you can't be a bird watcher and not have Florida in your life. Um, there's something about that, and you can't have friends without having Florida in your life. Friends and great venues. So there, um, there are some people here who are probably not familiar with, say, the great Gamble Rogers, an acquaintance of mine from way back when. We lost Gamble Rogers when he, he, uh, 
went off and tried to save a man who was drowning, and he drowned himself. They ended up naming the beach after him. He was a true North Florida hero. Someone else worth listening to. You can find his music. And uh, I wanted to call your attention to a, a wonderful book a book that is so full of scientific facts, but at the same time is poetry. There's poetry as well as it's left brain, right brain. Everything is there. Written by Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. She's the grand old lady of the Everglades. She died at 104, and she tirelessly fought to keep the Everglades alive. The Everglades, as far as I'm concerned, are what Florida is all about. And uh, so this, this little song reflects a lot on that. a momentary homage to our good friend Gamble Rogers in here. And I will, will, this is a few, I I don't think I've ever written a song that has spoken word in it. And this one has words that I took directly from um, Marjorie Stone Douglas. I combined them with a few of my words to make it fit into the song. But uh, her words are so lovely, I, I couldn't resist. And so I Consider to co write. <laughs> See if I can get this one together for you. On a wide oak hammock with a low shell mound, there's no human voice, but life abounds. God's little boy rests on the ground, sleeping. Over the glades, a thunderstorm starts a fire and the birds all swarm. The boy awakens, but he fears no harm. He's been dreaming. Snail kite, egrets plight. The alligator rests on the old shell mount. Cypress knees, a warm chuckalusky breeze. The clouds above the glades don't make a sound. Pink sky, spoonbills fly. Water catches fire through the red mangrove. Full moon in the eyes of a big raccoon And the old cat moves through a twilight no man knows Lay me down where the saw grass blows Let Okeechobee's waters roll my bones Lay me down with the apple snail where the sunlight glints on the ripples and the limpkin waves. Cattails, clapper rails, flamingos flock a thousand islands long. Manatee floating in the slough by me. Where the clear Calusa Hatchie rolls along. The clear burning light of the sun pours day long into the sawgrass and is lost there, soaked up, never given back. Only the water flashes and glints, the grass yields nothing. The truth of the river is grass. Gamble, ramble from the prairie to the isles of Florida Bay. Oh man, clearing out the great oak stand, don't haul the rest of Florida away. Lay me down where the sawgrass blows. Let Okeechobee's waters roll my bones. Lay me down with the apple snail. 
where the sunlight glints on the ripples and the Lincoln waves. Lay me down where the sawgrass blows. Let Okeechobee's waters roll my bones. That's for Florida. Thank you. I forgot how much I like that song. <laughs> I've been asked before by people who are not familiar with Florida. They said, what do you mean Gamble rambled from the prairie? Where's the prairie? And I said, well, the prairie is right there by Gainesville, Florida. It's the uh, Payne's Prairie, a great bird watching site from up north and you, you prefer alligators you got them you got plenty of them <laughs> Ray Miller in England are you still awake uh oh yep we're here uh, I thought for sure we would have put you to sleep by now I, I had planned to play your song and I guess now that you're here I really should yeah, we got the time yep The song was written um, during my first tour of England, um, maybe 2000 or so. I played a gig in Southampton at a bar known as the Talking Heads, having, having nothing to do with TV or with uh, the band by the same name. But, um, when I finished my concert, I went out back and um, I realized I was very close to the docks where my ancestor sailed for the New World. And not only did he sail for the New World, but he was the captain of the leaky version of a, of a Mayflower. The sister ship to the Mayflower was the Speedwell. And Captain John Chapel. Um, sailed it out of the harbor they were on the way with the mayflower but the the leaky little speedwell uh sprang a pretty bad leak and had to put back and so some people got on board the mayflower and some of them waited for another trip over but anyhow that's how that part of my family came to the united states and um i love being in england so much that i wanted to write a song but i, I didn't want to be presumptuous as if i knew england as if i knew anything about it but um, I, with the help of a few friends, I was able to cobble together some ideas that created a dream that I dreamed I was from there. When I was a young man, a lad of nine or ten, late at night through the hedgerows, I'd walk to the X River bend. The moon was new, but the stars did shine from walls of Devon stone. When I was a young man, I dreamed this was my home. A thousand greens and yellows lay like quilts upon the land, held in place by rows of stone from ancient shepherd's hand the jackdaws stole the rainbows as they ran the foxes down we caught sticklebacks with jam jar lures and cycled through the town lap wings glide among the gills Heather lines the trail. Grouse are staring 
done with prove a miss and falling hill. This was an English moment that is forever mine. I climbed the walls the Romans left behind, and I chased them back through time. When I was a young man, adrift upon the dados, I met a girl beside the bridge across the river swell. Her forebears roamed the Cotswolds, and they held the Normans there. There was Saxon fire in her. Dog rose in her hair. Sixteen generations since the brothers went to sea. Richard fought the Spanish fleet off Plymouth and Torquay. John set sail. For America in a cold Southampton rain. Though it's been four hundred years, their blood runs in my veins. Lap wings glide among the gills. Heather lines the trail. Grouse are staring. Dumbly through the mist and falling hail, this was an English moment that is forever mine. I climbed the walls the Romans left behind, and I chased them back through time. When I was an old man, I walked the long way home with memories as yellow as a wall of Sherburn stone. The old bridge in at Topsham was my refuge from the air, though the Queen once called within those walls. I found. A welcome there, though the queen once called. Within those walls, I found a welcome there. Thank you. That was for you, Ray. Yes, you're right. You are an incredible wordsmith, Jack. Well, thank you very kindly. You bet. It was my daddy's fault. I often talk about my mother and how she gave me music. Well, my daddy gave me words. He was the Jack? kind of guy that, yes. Oh, that, that picture before, which one were you, the one on the left? No, I was up in the upper right hand corner. I'm um, upper right hand corner. Oh, okay, good. Because I was if you were the upper left hand corner. I was gonna ask you what happened to your ears. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Jimmy has a set of ears on him, I have to admit. Kind of like a couple of taxi doors left open, you know. Play the title song. My last CD, the kind of song that can really only be written by somebody trying to move gracefully into their late 70s.
have to say as a songwriter, I appreciate your words very much. You have to understand that the type of songs that I write were never intended to be, to make me a lot of money as a songwriter, to be able to have people record me. It has happened though, accidentally. Tom Jones picked up one of my songs. Why? I just don't know. He made a mess out of a perfectly good song, but, but I appreciated actually getting some money for a song. Songs like this will never be recorded other than by me and maybe by some friends. It's just a little reflective thing. Last night I had a dream I took a ride somewhere Guided by a moonbeam Honeysuckle in the air I stood up on a hillside Saw people down below Moving like the ebb tide Far away long ago I saw the house that I grew up in I saw me as a kid Saw all that I believed in And the amazing things we did Saw mama in the backyard Singing sweet and low Saw daddy in the big war Far away, long ago I was born a dreamer That's all I've ever known I dreamed I'd live forever Then I felt the wind blow I heard a cuckoo singing Hidden in the trees Heard a school bell ringing and it brought me to my knees I saw an engine in the train yard I wondered where it longed to go I saw me as a stranger in the boxcar Far away and long ago Stand before the seasons And I serenade the past I need no rhyme or reason To love what cannot last For well, now my dream is ended And the wind has ceased to blow My future is suspended Far away and long ago I was born a dreamer that's all I've ever known I dreamed I'd live forever Then I felt the wind blow Thank you, folks. Beautiful. Let's see, I think I need to take care of a possibly difficult request. A song that never gets played in concert. My friend Jim Noble from Houston has asked for it. Around 1995, I was uh, reading in Natural History magazine, and I learned that the Folsom Man, one of the one of the early discoveries that helped to push back Native American habitation in North America, the Folsom Man. Of course, the, we we've learned more since then, but to date, it was one of the most important finds, and. Uh, 
It turns out that it was not discovered by a few um, Austrian and American white scientists. It was found by, it was discovered by a black foreman of a white ranch in New Mexico in the late 1800s, early 1900s. His name was George McJunkin, and he quickly became a hero of mine for many reasons. Um, some of them will be elucidated in this song here. Otherwise, you might want to know that, you know, of course, for a slave, which he was, a slave, to learn to read was a no-no. I mean, for God's sake, we can't let those folks find out what's wrong with this world by letting them read. But um, George, with the help of some people along the way, learned to read, not only learned to read, but he studied archaeology, anthropology, uh, astronomy, botany. He covered all of the ground, and he became quite knowledgeable as a layperson. And he was a great cowboy, one of the greatest cowboys on the Chisholm Trail. And the day that the Yankees came along and said, you guys are free, he was only 17 and was doomed to stay at the McJunkin Ranch and become a horseshoe, uh, what do you call it, blacksmith, just like his daddy, who was known as Shoe Boy. And George didn't want to do that. He was 17 years old. He was already a good enough roper and rider to be able to go out on the range and hold his own. And he did. He ran away from home that night and uh, became a, a very handy person to have on the trail, both as a cook and as a cowboy, also as a musician. He played the guitar, the fiddle. He, was, he did everything. And um, he finally found a place that was fairly safe for him and took on a job as the first black um, foreman of a white ranch in New Mexico ever. And uh, the white people would bring their children to him to learn from his wonderful collection of bones and stones and flowers and things that he had collected at the Folsom Hotel where he lived. And Judy and I had been to the Folsom Hotel, and went to the room where he died, which has largely been left I don't know, I could go on and on forever, but it was, it was a very mystical, wonderful experience. And I wrote a song about George McJunkin, and I hope that I will be able to render it properly for you tonight. Thanks for the request, Jim. McJunkin was shoe boy's son Born to slavery in 51 Down the arroyo where the flash flood ran He found some bones and the fulsome man To his blacksmith daddy, but saddled with a chocolate hide. George McJunkin was a rebel who taught himself to read and to ride. When the Yankee soldiers freed him, he left and never said a goodbye. Hoofing it hard across Texas, he caught a stray mule to ride. As a cowboy, George knew no equal, riding up the long cattle drive, roping his way into legend and reading at night neath the sky. He settled down in a valley when the echoes of slavery had gone, working as a white man's foreman on the high desert dry Cimarron. George McJunkin was shoe boy's son Born to slavery in 51 He saved the life of a soldier Who granted a gift in return The brass telescope hung proudly with his rope and his books and his gun. 
He studied the stars in the heaven, wondered where had the dinosaurs gone, learned about the flowers and fossils and the light in the mockingbird song. George made a gift of his learning and passed every bit of it down. Played the guitar and the fiddle and was loved as a friend in the town. He never knew what he found there on the Crowfoot Arroyo that day. In the sand, the point of a hunter whom time had long hidden away. Horse and telescope books and gone. George McJunkin was shoe boy's son. Here is a song worth singing. Here is a tale to be told about a true American cowboy, a hero of pure black and gold. In 1922 he lay dying among friends in the Folsom Hotel. They read from his books till their parting he took to his freedom so well. George McJunkin was your boy's son. Born to slavery in 51. Down the arroyo where the flash flood ran. He found some bones and the foesome man. George McJunkin was shoe boy's son. for Jim and Ben. <clears throat> yes, sir. I want to play one here that's uh, I did not write. Written somewhere around 1920 by um, a man that's called the father of the blues. It's, it's, it's a misnomer, actually. He was a father of his sort of blues. His name was W.C. Handy. He went on to write the St. Louis Blues. And some of you may know that. Beale Street Blues and some, some great other tunes. And uh, I heard this song on an album of Louis Armstrong and his All-Stars playing the music of W.C. Handy. And uh, I wanted to learn every song on it. This one really, uh, really struck me because it's the uh, main character is Hagar, Aunt Hagar. Well, Hagar, as some of you know, was the handmaiden to, uh, to um, Abraham's wife, who was sorely mistreated after doing her job as directed, which was to bed Abraham and to bear him a son, because his wife was apparently barren. Well, it worked. Everything worked according to plan, except for the fact that God played a dirty little trick on dirty little Abraham. And he caused his wife to not be barren anymore. And so then she, obviously being the power in the house, said, you'll send that woman packing to the desert. And he sent her off into the desert to die. And uh, she and her son, and they lived. But uh, she became, Aunt Hagar became the patron saint of the black community. And uh, earlier era and so this song is about aunt hagar who was telling the preacher don't tell us we can't sing and dance and do what we're supposed to do there are more important things in this world i love this old song <laughs>
Old Deacon Spliven, his flock was given the way of living right. Said he no winging, no ragtime singing tonight. Up jumped Aunt Hager and shouted out with all her might, all her might. She said, oh, ain't no use in teaching. She said, oh, ain't no use in preaching. Each modulation of syncopation just tells my feet to dance and I can't refuse. Every time I hear the melody call the blues, those ever loving blues. So here and Hagar's children harmonizing that old mournful tune. It's like a choir from on high broke loose. Yeah, man. Now if the devil brought it, the good Lord sent it right down to me. Let the congregation join while I sing those loving and Hagar's blues. down to me let the congregation join while I sing those loving and hey those blues oh that was awesome Jack awesome well thank you it's a WC Handy song that's on my album of nothing but cover songs, 22 cover songs. The album's called uh, Don't Let Go. By the way, if any of you folks have any interest in getting my CDs, I still have them. We even have them on flash drive if you're interested in that. Uh, but please, don't order them from any of the corporate music sources because they do not pay us songwriters. We don't get paid diddly squat. And... Uh, so please order it from jackwilliamsmusic.com. I would appreciate that. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens here. I think I'm going to ask for one more request. A natural man or eternity in Maine? Boy. Whew. That was very forceful. <laughs> I put him in chat, but I couldn't. It didn't go through. Well, I can't see the chat anyway, so. Oh, okay. You got that picture, Judy? Josh White was a natural man. He held a plug nickel in the palm of his hand. He raised it up like a glass to his eye. But he saw through the nickel made the natural man cry. Lord, 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 this morning made a natural man cry. 
Then through the nickel a vision arose. He saw an actor in the jungle with a bone in his nose. He saw a maid in an apron with a Hollywood grin. He heard a singer at the back door slamming again. Lord, 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 heard the back door slamming again. High upon the mountain sat the Lord and the natural man. Oh, Josh White got the gift of song, but he never saw the promised land. He never saw the promised land. So Josh White laid the nickel down. He put his hands in his pockets and strolled into town. He looked to the left and over to the right. But he couldn't find a place to spend his money that night. Lord, 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 he sure want to spend some money tonight. Now he ran to the hotel, dollar in hand. But they wouldn't take a dollar from no colored man. He said, it's getting mighty late, mister, where can I go? He said, well, play me a tune, I'll let you sleep on the floor. Lord, 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 Josh White asleep on the floor. High upon a mountain sat the Lord and the natural man. Oh, Josh White got the gift of song, but he never saw the promised land. He never saw the promised land. Where the angels are found All the blood from his fingers Stained the heavenly ground There ain't nothing to do But to do what you do And you do it till they roll a stone Over you Lord, Lord, Lord Don't let them roll a stone over you High upon a mountain Sat the Lord and the natural man Oh, Josh White got the gift of song, but he never saw the promised land. High upon a mountain, I heard a cold black angel sing. And I better plug a nickel if he came back tomorrow, it wouldn't change a goddamn thing. I bet it wouldn't change a goddamn thing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks for the request. Oh yeah, baby. Hey, yep. what, how about one more song here? And uh, how about the sun rolling round heaven all day? <laughs> and I always love Mama. Make me something sweet tonight. That was um. Hmm. Mama Root. Just broke a fingernail. Hang on. <laughs> Good though. <laughs> <laughs> How about Cave Woman Betty? <laughs> Woo, that would be a challenge. Man. You know, I, I never played that song ever. I just recorded it. And then here I was on a Los Angeles folk radio program. All the folk people listen to this uh, Roz Lorman show. And I was on there. She said, may I make a request? And she said, she asked for that song. And I didn't even know it. I blundered through it. I blasted my way through it. I, I don't want to blunder <laughs> through it tonight, though, without giving it some thought. But, uh, let's see here. We can do a, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll do the Mama Lou song. People have, have uh, had two, I heard two requests for that. Thank you all for being here. Uh, the party's not over. If you'd like to stay around for a half hour or more, we're going we're gonna to be right here. I'm going to be right here in the van. Besides, I can't get out. The, my way is blocked. I have to dismantle everything before I can actually leave the room. And, uh, and, and considering how much water I've been drinking, that's becoming an emergency. But we can, we can handle this. <laughs> uh, but we will be around. So stick around. We're gonna, we'll have a little chat. They call it an after party or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, but thank you all very much. Thanks to my darling Judy for doing all of the work, making this Zoom thing happen and keeping me together. And, oh, me. She's done such great work. It's great to see some of you folks. You know, David Buckman, it's been a long time. And I would love to come back and play for you. Massachusetts, here I come. John Harim's out in Saurita, Arizona. And it's safe, Jack. We'd love to have you, man. We'd, you well, we'll, and uh, there's Joe Anella down there. I, I think I see his name. Is there a person there? Yes, there's a person there. There's Joe, Charleston, South Carolina. Dun, dun. Charleston. Sorry, got carried away. This happens a lot. Skip, you enjoy still? You, you're still there. Yes, sir. My old friend Skip Metz from right there. Grew up across the street from me in Heath Springs, South Carolina, back in the early 40s or something like that. Early 40s, early 40s. And Nancy Chase, I hope to come and play for you in person again in Memphis sometime. Thank you for being here and See your you. dear sweet mama. Early Sunday morning, I'm stretching and I'm yawning. Shaking off the night before Somewhere in the dwelling Something mighty good is smelling There's a racket on the kitchen floor Papa's chopping wood The fire's burning good And the kettle's bubbling on the eye There's a ham in the oven Mama's stirring something, son Touch it and I'll tan your hide Oh, Mama Lou I'm staying here with you. Cook me something sweet tonight. That old porch swings creaking, mama's tea kettle shrieking on a sunny Thanksgiving day. Wipe the smile off my face, cause grandpa's saying grace, but any kid would rather eat than pray. I love my collard greens, I want some black eyed peas, I want sweet potatoes on the side. Yes, an okra gets my boat as it slides down my throat, and of course I want my chicken fried. Oh, Mama Lou, I'm staying here with you, cook me something sweet tonight. Now the tea is double sweet, it cools me when I eat, smell biscuits rising slow in the pan. Mama's cobbler full of berries, topped with ice cream and cherries, makes a beggar out of any man. My memories roam to that old family home where it smelled like heaven all the time. And grandmama never changed from a fire to a range, that's music to this heart of mine. Staying here with you Cook me something sweet tonight Oh, play it, Jack, play it Okay
is a pound cake bacon. My taste buds are quaking. Mama's trickling lemon icing on top. I'd still be licking that bowl at a hundred years old if Mama hadn't ever stopped. Oh, but stop, yes, she did. And as broken-hearted kids, we never let a blessed word go by. And my mama's gentle spirit didn't fly by and hear it, raising love in us in reply. Oh, mama, look, I'm staying here with you. Cook me something sweet tonight. Oh, cook me something sweet tonight. Come here, something, something, something sweet. Now I'm going to Tampa, Florida. It's cold, getting sweaty in here. It's a lot hotter. It's a little, a little too hot down here in Florida. We left a nice, perfectly cool spring in Arkansas and came all the way down here to this 84 degree crap. You know, it's Sometimes you get started like this, you just don't want to quit. So if you can't take it anymore, just say goodbye, slide away, or I'll see you at the after party. And I'm just having a good time. I haven't played a gig in a while, and it's just I'm just glad to know I still can. Thank you all for being here. Thank you so much. I got to be careful bowing in here. My guitar is tearing a room up. <laughs> I, have a, I have a little space, but not much. You know. Hope you folks will stick around. Give me a chance just to get a breather, and, and I'd love to visit with whoever cares to stay around. Love to stay, but I got to play pipes. <laughs> You want to go to bed as well. Understood. Understood. Thank you for being here, Nancy. What's the extra Thanks, microphone Jeff. for? What's that, Jim? What's the extra microphone for? You've got one for vocals. You got yes. Got one down by your guitar. You're not using your guitarist pickup. This one? No, I'm not using the guitar pickup. But this one actually <laughs> picks. Okay. This one actually picks up both guitar and voice. This just helps me focus a little bit. Because um, I, you know, if I'm moving away, it just it just helps round out the sound a little bit. I could do it. Hey, it works. One. Yep, it works. Where where's your Wawa pedal? Oh, I left that somewhere back in the dark ages. And, and I think you know, Jack. I think you need a little more cowbell. <laughs> Everybody could use a little more. Cowbell. Excuse you me. Know, now. I'm not going to be able to hear you for a moment. I'm going to take off my headphones and um. And no, I don't have to take them off. <laughs> Not to be too insensitive, but you're an awful brave guy to sit behind all that equipment with the only way between you and the bathroom is to go uh, through yeah. it. <laughs> well, you know, I, Jim, I can always do this. I'll try not to make any noise. <laughs> no, I'll be able to hold out for the time we're going to visit. Joseph Lavelle, how are you doing, buddy? 